Though she waited several years after her first child, Danielle Hargrave says she always knew she wanted a second baby. But just as she started trying to get pregnant, Danielle was told she had cervical cancer and had to make some tough choices about her treatment. Kind of was nervous at the beginning because the first words was hysterectomy was what they wanted me to do. A hysterectomy would likely cure her cancer, but would certainly mean she could never get pregnant again. It's a situation a growing number of women face as they wait until later in life to have babies. The average age of cervical cancer is in the young 40s, so that's the average age, so many women are younger than that and may have not started their families yet. So in an effort to try and protect a woman's womb, Dr. Jeffrey Fowler of the Ohio State University's James Cancer Hospital is offering a different approach. In certain cases, he still does surgery, but unlike a traditional hysterectomy, he only removes a fraction of the tissue. It's called a radical trachelectomy, and studies show it can not only save a woman's life, but preserve her ability to get pregnant later in life. Probably about half the women that have had this procedure have tried to get pregnant. And of those that have attempted pregnancy, two-thirds, 70 percent, have actually become pregnant. Danielle was one of them. She had to postpone getting pregnant for a couple of years just to make sure all her cancer was gone, but says it was worth the wait. From the get-go, they kind of told me, you know, we've caught this early enough, we're going to be able to take care of it. It was just what route I was going to have to take. At Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.